Welcome along to another Sunday Million highlight show. This one from the Sunday Million for the 24th of June. 5,388 runners, a huge field with just over a million dollars in prize money. Big though the field is, a little bit down on normal due to that uh, small series of poker tournaments happening in Las Vegas right now. But still a massive tournament and one worth winning. Going into the first bit of action, an eclectic mix from around the world. Really global player from China, several from Europe, several from uh, the Americas. And uh, we've got some well-known names as well, especially if you follow the online poker scene. Minister Borg had an amazing scoop. He won event 21 high and finished runner-up in the main event. Medium event scored over 750k. Looking to add a Sunday million title to that. We'll get into the action. JFL1234 from the UK uh, has the aces. We'll start you off with a cooler. Why not? Anders Jezek, the unlucky man on the wrong end of things. We're playing 125, 250k blinds. So Anders starts this hand with uh, just a shade under 20 big blinds. And you've got to feel a bit sorry for him. This is the situation you want an opening raise into you when you've got a big hand on the big blind on the first hand of the final table. He will make the re-raise and just a question of how much these two want to dance around before they actually get the money in. JFL with the small four bet. And Anders thinking about things, but yeah, no other course of action than to shove it in. And he'll be delighted to get it in until he sees JFL's cards. JFL, a heavy favourite to extend his chip stack and his chip lead here. He's got uh, the aces over the queens. And Binks and ace on the flop. So this one all but done. Anders can hit a king for Broadway. Needs it to happen or he's out of the tournament. And it does. Fun and games on hand one of the final table. JFL looking to knock out a player and get himself a big st chip stack early, but Anders Jezek from Poland, given second life in this tournament, huge king on the river for him. And he's your chip leader. This is one of those million final tables, which is pretty tightly stacked. As you can see, several players around about the sort of 20 big blind level. One of those is Rue 400, which sounds like a prototype for a, one of those kangaroo droids that brings you sandwiches in the afternoon. All in from Minister Borg. So pretty aggressive stuff. You'd expect that kind of thing from someone who's uh, got such a good online pedigree. Late-ish opening raise. He's got a really good stack to make the move. Unfortunately for him, he's running into the top of Rue's range here. 8-5 suited is uh, live, isn't it? More than one way to win. Slight delay while Robin X makes a decision. That's the only way to pronounce that screen name, by the way. Robin's X. Rue 400 has the luxury of making a call. Easy to do and uh, will race. Minister Borg is the all-in player. And uh, it's one of those races where Rue has a big head start. Minister Borg's still alive, though. Just needs to catch a pair. Not anymore. Ace locks it up on the turn. Uh, Minister Borg will leave us. Adds 8,500 more or less to his bankroll. And a ninth place finish in the Sunday million. Sure, we'll see him again at a big final table. On we go. Eight-handed. This is hand number five. Still 125, 250k blinds and uh, probably some more knockouts to come in the near future. These uh, players really, really close in chip stacks. Anders will open this up with the ace 10. Robin's X with the decision with king queen. All three options arguable. He decides on the fold. You could see a three bet. You could see a flat call, but it is a fold. He gets out of the way. And uh, JFL with the deuces will flat call. 
This is a smidge optimistic, I think. So the elusive set doesn't come, and uh, tough now. He's out of position. He's playing a little bit of a guessing game. Not a particularly nice flop for Anders either, and he will decide to check this back. So we'll go to the turn with just under one and a half million in the middle. Nine of clubs gives Anders the flush draw. JFL will bet. Well, you'd expect Anders to at least call here. He does have the two over cards. He can catch an eight for a straight, catch a club for a flush. Plenty of equity. So you wouldn't expect him to go anywhere. Maybe thinking about semi-bluffing this to make uh, JFL fold exactly his one pair of hands or other kind of medium strength stuff well it's a big semi bluff isn't it huge uh, shove from anders he does have jfl covered by some distance but figured the raise was the play with all of that equity in this hand and i don't think jfl can possibly call this and he does fold so big move from anders no fear it's easy at the final table when you've got the big stack, I guess. And he will be your chip leader now. This is uh, hand 13. Still 125, 250k. Pistache, 8888. Has some scores on PokerStars. Several over 20k. And actually beat 21,000 players to win the $10 buy in Sunday 100, 100 grand at one point. 21,000. Pretty impressive run, so knows how to get through big tournaments at another huge runner final table here. And he's going to be in a race. JFL making the pretty automatic shove with a pretty looking ace king of hearts. And the nines will call classic stuff. Little edge to the nines, trying to get it to hold up. Vital pot for both players. Pistache not quite all in, but effectively he is. And he may be out this tournament. King on the turn for JFL. And that will decide this one. 8.3 and change in his stack now. Pistache down to just a few chips. And he would quickly leave us. The Canadian player winning $13,470 for eighth spot. Got to win the big races when it counts. Probably go away and work on that aspect of his game. But a great t final table nonetheless. And uh, he leaves us seven-handed. Blinds are up, 150, 300,000. This is hand 28. And a couple of uh, shortish stacks around still, so I think we still might be playing showdown poker for a little while. Too much room to manoeuvre, I don't think. See, Robin's ex would love to open this here. It's been folded to him on the cutoff, but... Only has uh, just under 12 big blinds. Some people don't mind trying the steal there. Still leave yourself with a shoving stack, but folding clearly fine as well. JFL will make a small raise from the small blind. Maybe trying to induce a shove here. Does Definitely doesn't mind getting it in with ace-10, and that's what happens. Dad John with a pretty automatic spot. And uh, I think these two hands played themselves. So we'll have another race. JFL again with the big ace against a pair. This time Dav John has the under pair. Two sixes for him. And he's the all-in player. And gets past the flop, kind of. JFL can uh, catch a queen as well. No clubs in either player's hand. So Dav John trying to fade this river and gets it done. Makes a full house. No extra points. Doesn't work that way. I will give you something a little bit extra, though, because I'm nice like that. The online poker show free roll with a free seat to the Sunday Million is happening again this week. If you want to play, go Tawny Free Roll and find it in there. And I'll give you the password later in this show. We are anticipation. Committed. Anonymous. Focused. Holding it 
in. We are poker. Welcome back to the Sunday Million Highlight Show. These seven players in with a chance of winning the big prize and that uh, prestigious entry on their tournament CV. And as Jezek is your chip leader, Re 400 will overtake Dav John to make up your podium right now. But a lot is going to change, I'm sure. Big blinds and relatively shallow stacks right now in this one. And we've played 32 hands. Players are going to get knocked out soon. Mark my words. 150, 300k are your blinds. Robin's X was just over 10 big blinds. In the big blind. Stop saying big blind. Brackets, Ed. Re 400 will open things up with the 9 8. And something creative may be about to happen. Stand by, creative poker warning. And as Jezek thinking about doing something rash. Decent chance it will work with Re 400, as we can see. Not having hand, but of course, he's it's a cut off opener. So Anders yes, it will make the three bet. Now there is room for manoeuvre here. Not too many times is this going to happen on this final table with the stacks the way they are, but Re 400 could potentially play back. Decides against it, and nice timing from Anders, who has shown no fear so far, been very aggressive at this final table, and that will do well for you. He continues to chip up as we rejoin the action. He's on 15 and a half million and is your chip leader. Action's going to be folded to him with a grotty looking ace. He is going to open though. And as I tell you quite often in these commentaries, the money jumps are really, really big at these final tables, especially when you think that. The buy is $215, and many of the players qualify through satellites for even less than that. So to be at this final table and suddenly playing for, you know, six-figure sums and big, big money jumps, you can understand if some of the players sometimes play a little tight. And uh, if you get a player like Anders who's just attacking, well, you can reap big rewards. And uh, he may have JFL in a bad spot again here. Well, I guess he really does with that flop, except that it's tough to get JFL to put too much money in the middle. Trip aces for Anders. Now, when we watched these two play the hand before, Anders checked the flop back and then shoved on the turn. JFL, of course, no way of knowing what he did that with. Didn't go to showdown, but this will go check, check again. And JFL picks up a Broadway draw. He can hit a 10 to make himself a straight. 6% of the time, he's a winner here. He's got to get to the river, though. I suspect he might not. We'll find out. 1.7 million in the middle. And Anders looking to make some chips. Holding the virtual nuts. Super unlikely he's not winning right here. Anders makes the bet. Smallish bet. And he'll get a call from JFL, whose king high could easily be good here, of course. Perfectly justifiable call. Eight of diamonds doesn't change anything. Uh, we know Anders is going to try and get paid. What would you bet here? 3.2 million in the middle. Well, JFL's stack is 2.9, and Anders is going to go for it all. It looks like a spectacular shove, and JFL does make the call. Well, he's up against the most aggressive active player on the final table, and I think Anders' uh, image has really worked for him there. JFL paying off with King High, which you can understand is a bluff-catching hand, but he did walk into trip aces, and uh, a fantastic spot for Anders, who now is pushing 20 million, big chip leader. On we go to hand 50, 200, 400k are the blinds. Shalchinov, 
Has opened with sevens and been shoved on by Rui 400. Shalchanov sitting on uh, about 15 big blinds left. Not a great spot for him. And he does fold the sevens. Well, he looks like a genius because uh, we can see that Rui 400 had him dominated. Was a strange spot with his stack after making a standard open. But uh, he'll feel good about himself when he watches this back. Hand 57 and Dav Johns opened with two queens. He makes it one million chips. Seems reasonable. 25500 blinds. And uh, Robin Zex, who hasn't really seen any cards that we've seen, finally gets a hand and a little bit unlucky to run into a bigger hand. In goes the money from the Bolivian player. And uh, Dav John has the world's easiest call. Just 700,000 more. And Robin Zex is uh, likely to leave us here. Well, Gutshot on the flop, a set for Dav John, and the five of hearts makes it interesting. Now a heart for Robin's X or a Jack, or why not hit both? Do it the stylish way. Straight and a flush. Should have saved one of them up for later, really. Bad tactics, but Robin's X does double through, and it didn't look likely, did it? Dav John will be disappointed. Every pot counts right now, with the blinds and antis being so big, but Robin's X gets a huge uh, reprieve there. This is hand 67, and we'll get it folded round to the blinds. And fold Badio. Makes a pretty standard shove with fours. And Anders, well, we'll make the call. Trying to knock out players here. Queen seven does give him a race. And uh, fold Badio, neat trick, hits the four on the flop. Flop sets everywhere in these showdown hands. Pretty remarkable. And that's going to double him up. Great spot for him. The short stacks are surviving right now. And uh, the field is getting more and more congested. On we go. This is hand 71. And Anders has been opening pretty liberally. We're six-handed. And he's just going to shove. Well, that's one way to go. So now put yourself in the situation of these players what would you call with and this is the big stack he has you covered he's put his money in and the money jumps are pretty big we're six-handed right now and he's looking at a ten thousand dollar jump but shalchinov makes the right call with the ace jack slightly easier for him to make that call because he is the short stack so not expected to finish higher than sixth and uh, he does make the call it's a good call it is a race though lots of races today and, uh, well, Shalchanov still behind, still needs to improve. Third five gives uh, Anders a full house. Shalchanov trying to catch this river, can't get it done. And the Russian player, after making the right call, unfortunately can't get lucky on the board and leaves us in six. $35,000 and a little bit of change for him. Great result. Getting closer to the big money now. Fifth place has $45,000 locked up. Question right now is, can anyone stop Anders Jezek from Poland? He's uh, steamrolled the early going in this final table. But we've seen this before. Get to three-handed, heads up, and a couple of double-ups the other way, and suddenly that big stack can turn into a short one. We'll see how he goes. Dav John with ace-10 on the button. He's been pretty unlucky here. But this is interesting, isn't it? Because... Well, Rue 400 folds the small pocket pair. Doesn't want to get it in as a caller. And Bobadilla with a pretty easy call with ace-queen. And this is unlucky for Dav John. It's an automatic shove on the button. The chances of running into a bigger ace in the blinds are pretty remote. But that's exactly what's happened. And Bobadilla, Chinese player, has him in bad shape here. <laughs> things have improved. Well, the short stacks really are reversing things on the... All ins, aren't they? Catches the 10 and looks like he'll be doubling up. Oh, cruel fortune. The Queen of Spades arrives to break Dav John's heart. 
And suddenly, we're four-handed. We are 10,000 people in Brazil, holding our breath. We are alone. Hunters. Hunted. We are committed. Blessed. Calm. We are all in. We are poker. Welcome back. As promised, your free shot at a Sunday million seat takes place on June the 28th, 3.35 Eastern Standard Time. Your password is supersonic. Supersonic. And we've got four players left at this week's Sunday million final table. One of them's going to take down a big prize and the prestige of winning the Sunday million. It's looked like Anders Jezek right from early in this final table. And that trend continues as he chips up over the next few hands. Seems very comfortable with the big stack at the final table, playing super aggressively. We'll see if that gets him into trouble at any point. But for now, things look good. Hand 78 sees Fold Badio doubling the big blind. Great spot for him, this, with queens on the button and uh, a really aggressive chip leader in the small blind. This is what dreams are made of. Well, poker dreams. I have time to tell you what my dreams are made of, but uh, regularly waking up in a cold sweat these days. Pretty horrific. Anders makes the three bet. And that's exactly what Fold Badio wanted. I wonder if he'll be tempted to vary the obvious play at all. Corbin's X just a little delay. While he folds. I wonder if thoughts of any kind of slow play or entrapment would enter Volbadio's head here. He just knows how aggressive Anders is. And no, he does take the straightforward line. Tough to argue with that. Money's in the middle and Anders looks at this and he needs to call off, well, about another 11 million. There's 18 million in there already. So this is a close decision. He should have done this thinking before he made the three bet, really, you'd have thought, but... He does make the fold. Interesting one, that. Worth uh, debating. Depends what you think Fulbadio's range is for that move, of course. But Anders decides he doesn't want to put that much of his stack at risk. And uh, Fulbadio certainly did have the goods, as we could see. He's in clear second spot now. Two shorter stacks. And Anders will make the shove and dare the two blinds to call. Well, not much of a dare when you've got two aces as it becomes uh, a rubbish dare. Robins X makes the easy call. Beautiful spot for him with the aces. Against the 4-3. Is it the ace cracker? Well, makes a pair. So improves his chances a little bit. Six of diamonds is a nice card for Robins X to see. And he fades the river. So Anders, who dominated for so long, has come back to the pack here. Very close for first and second. And Robins X over the eight-figure barrier as well with 11.5 million. Get a shove from the short stack in hand 81. And a quick call from Fulbadio, who has Robin for, uh, Rue 400 in trouble here. Dominating with the big ace, not what Rue 400 wanted to see, of course. Needs to get lucky here, or we're going to go three-handed. No help for him on the flop. Eight of diamonds. Means there's a couple more outs for him. The nine just wraps it up for Fulbadio. And Rue 400 will hit the rail in fourth spot. The Canadian takes home $60,800. Can't be too disappointed with that. And we'll play 300 poker. I can tell you there was a three-way chop at this final table as the money jumps got super big. They're playing for 20k outright for the winner. And, of course, the prestige of winning the Sunday Million. 
And we're into it quickly here with Volbadio shoving on Anders. And Anders will make the call. Not the easiest call in the world, but it's a good one. He's uh, way in front here of Volbadio's Queen Jack. Not anymore. Volbadio catches a card when he needed it most. That Jack and now the Queen. He has two pair. Anders needs to catch a 10 on this river. Doesn't happen. And a huge reversal of fortunes between these two in two hands. Volbadio, now your big chip leader. The Chinese player will fold the button and uh, hope that the two short stacks on the blinds go to war. Well, Anders is going to war every single hand, isn't he? No retreat, no surrender. And this could be a live by the sword, die by the sword situation. I've got a couple of friends at home that have to drink every time I use a cliche. That's why that's happening. Should be absolutely whammed by now. Anders catches a five on the flop. And he looks like he might get lucky here on Robin's X. Deuce on the river to save him. Ace on the river to save him. Six on the river to save him. Well, he got out of it. Got in way the best. And Anders, who gave us a lot of entertainment, super aggressive final table. But the Polish player eventually crashes and burns in third spot. And Robin's X, who's been short stacked this whole final table, makes it to the heads up. Gets it in here with the ace. Folbadio with a nice hand heads up. Decides to make the call. Robin's X, who's been short stacked, will be your chip leader if he wins this pot. And that looks really likely now, doesn't it? Catches the ace on the flop. <laughs> and who'd have thunk it? Just uh, a few orbits ago, Robin's X was all but out of this one. Caught a miracle card. And now is the chip leader. And in position to win it. The fun of final tables in tournaments. Picks up another good hand here in uh, hand 111. And he'll like this result. Folbadia with a perfectly reasonable shove with a suited King 10. And Robin's X has him in trouble and could be your winner. Amazing turnaround for the Bolivian. Just needs this hand to hold up. Oh, but it may not. 10 on the flop for full Badillo. And uh, needs to catch the river, Robin's X, to win this one. It's not going to happen. And we'll play again. And uh, that could be the decisive pot in this one. Robin's X left very short stacked here. Survives a couple of hands and uh, will now get it in with King 7. Just about 10 big blinds. Not too much he can do. Full Badillo will call. And has another chance to win it. King seven, the best hand, but needs to hold up and may not. A pair on the flop for the Chinese player. And seven helps Robin's X a little bit, but he needs to improve further on the river. Well, this one's done. Five of hearts changes nothing. Folbadio will win this one. Robin's X, a valiant attempt, real roller coaster of a final table for him. Ends up finishing second, but Folbadio will be your champion. Scores 144,000 and change. Big, big win. For him, got some cards when it mattered and took down Anders in a couple of big pots. That was the decisive moment. Robin's X in second from Bolivia, 108,000 after the chop. And Anders Jezek, who gave us a lot of entertainment, rounds out the podium with 130k. Hope you enjoyed watching. There'll be another Sunday Million final table for you this time next week. From everyone at PokerStars.tv, I'm Nick Wellthorpe. You take big care.